everyone welcome back to my channel and to a day in my life during my summer holidays i am really not a morning person and i'm really taking advantage of being able to have a lie-in every day it's 10 a.m but you can see that i was still struggling to get up the first thing i do is tie my hair and go to wash my face some of you may know that i'm an ambassador at the university of manchester and today i'm working a campus tour shift that starts at 12 p.m I'm now just brushing my hair properly and putting on some moisturiser before changing my clothes. I'm going to take you along with me to my shift and after that I have plans to catch up on some YouTube scripts and some work I want to do in preparation for starting my final year of med school. As usual, by the time I get ready it's pretty much time to leave and I don't have any time to have breakfast. So instead I just take out and wash some grapes that I had in the fridge to eat in the car whilst I drive to university. Now, if you are due to start your course at the University of Manchester, I would definitely not recommend driving to university because there's literally nowhere nearby to park. If you do drive, you end up having to park like a 20 minute walk away, which means it would take you more time to drive, park and walk than it would to just get the bus straight from your accommodation. The reason I'm driving is I actually live a lot further out from the university now than I did in first and second year because I decided to move closer to my base hospital instead when I started my clinical years and for me public transport won't really save me any time over driving and walking. So I've parked up and arrived for my shift. The meetup area for most student ambassador shifts is the Rutherford building, which is the red brick building on the left that I'm heading towards. On arrival for all shifts, we have to change into student ambassador clothing so that we're easily recognizable and approachable during the shifts. So the campus tour shift is actually quite chilled. We first have to set up this huge campus tour flag and basically just stand outside with it for an hour to make sure everyone arriving for the tour knows where to come. So this is what me and my colleagues are doing in the video. On this particular shift, we had around 150 people come for the tour, which is actually a small number for the campus tours. It's actually really lovely doing these shifts because you can be an ambassador regardless of what degree you're doing at Manchester. And I always meet so many lovely people and get the chance to make friends with people on other courses. Everyone was talking about what they had for lunch before the shift and meanwhile I was just crying on the inside remembering that I still hadn't even had breakfast. Afterwards we direct all the students arriving for the campus tour to a lecture theatre in the Simon building where they receive an introductory lecture before the campus tour. Here we also have an ambassador Q&A panel, so around five to six ambassadors who are working in the shift will sit at the front of the lecture theatre and the new students can get to ask them any questions. After the lecture is when we do the majority of the work which is actually giving the campus tour. For this we just pair up and each pair takes a group of around 20 people and shows them around the campus. There are lots of little fun facts about the university that I've memorised which I always like to drop on my campus tours. For example, there are over 200 buildings that make up the university's campus. Just our main library alone holds more than 4 million books. And the iconic Whitworth building, which is the one that you see in everyone's graduation pictures, is where Albert Einstein actually gave his first lecture. My shift finished around quarter past three in the afternoon. I changed out of the ambassador uniform before leaving and I decided to go straight to the Starbucks near my house to get some of my work done. I feel much more motivated to do my work in a cafe when I see other people on their laptops doing their work as well. I have quite a few bits to get done. We have some mandatory online training, which are just short courses that we have to do every summer before we start the next year. I also have a couple of YouTube scripts to write and I also want to make a start on the revision that I want to do this summer in preparation for year five, which I talk about in my last video. So I've arrived and the first thing I do is buy a drink and a sandwich because I'm really starving at this point. My go-to drink at Starbucks is the Java Chip Frappuccino. If you haven't tried it, you're really missing out. Unfortunately, they actually ran out of the little chocolate chips that go inside the Java Chip. So I ended up getting the Mocha Frappuccino instead. Do comment what your go-to order at Starbucks is and I will try it. Once I've sat down with my order, I just get going with the work that I have to do. I managed to do all of the training and write two YouTube scripts. And then I just start to make a spreadsheet of all of the topics I feel like I need to refine my notes on. I realised I have notes for a lot of conditions that are a bit outdated. The national guidelines have changed and been updated a little bit since we first learnt about them. 
So it ended up being a huge spreadsheet that includes conditions that I actually know very well, but I need to make up-to-date notes about their management. I also ended up buying an ice green tea, even though I didn't really want it because I felt like I'd been sitting there for so long that I had to buy something else. Also, I just wanted to mention there are two websites that I use to make the lists, which are the only two websites that I really ever use for revision, and those are Zero to Finals and also BMJ Best Practice. I'm sure you've heard of these already, but I'll still put the links to them in the description of my video. These two would be my top recommendations for websites to revise from. It's about 7.30 in the evening by the time I'm done and ready to leave. I pack all of my stuff away and head back to my car. On my way back home, I stop at good old Lidl. I decided to make a homemade pizza for dinner. I had most of the ingredients for this at home, but there were just a couple of things that I needed to pick up. I needed some flour, mushrooms and cheese. And I got started with making the pizza pretty much as soon as I got home. Homemade pizza is literally my favourite because you can put on as many toppings as you want. On mine, I added some spicy chicken which I made at home, some onions, bell peppers, olives, mushrooms and green chilies. This is how the toppings look without covering it with cheese and after adding the cheese it's now ready to go into the oven. Here's what it looked like when it came out of the oven. I also made some chips and garlic bread to go with it. After dinner I just made myself a cup of green tea in my favourite mug. Now I get to sit down and do something I've been wanting to do all day which is watch the Love Island reunion which aired the night before. I don't have a TV so I just watch it on my laptop. But anyway, that brings us to the end of the day. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. Please consider liking and subscribing as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.